Greetings and good time zone. I hope people are doing well today. I have new emotes and that is really loud. <laughs> Thought I'd change the audio to be a little bit friendlier. <laughs> the music was a jarring right then. I had lowered it before I went live. Obviously not enough. But yeah, I have new emotes in as people might see um, by the wonderful Teal. She did an amazing job on them and I can't wait to commission more from her. I also just felt like doing another Survivors game and Soulstone Survivors had a big update not too long ago and I played this a lot as you might tell before I streamed and I've played it once on stream I think I did it for my birthday stream but I wanted to see what was new because I haven't played it since the update so yeah I decided to play this uh, and I need to see what's new because this is all changed and I'm also 9 out of 8 power, so that's new. Hidden achievement. Okay, purchase all nodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some characters that I never got all the levels with. Are there any more? Ooh, craft more stuff. Blood God's Legacy. Okay, well, we definitely need to see about this. I will probably end up playing the Paladin, because that was my favourite character of choice. But Skill Tree. Unlock all nodes in the central skill tree to reveal. Current progress, 89 out of 94. <laughs> so where haven't I unlocked? Oh, the outlined one. Gives you a chance to lock a power up in place, saving it for your next level up. Uh, that's fun. It's definitely new. Ooh, fancy! Purchase all skills in the central skill tree. Earn skill points by increasing the prestige level of this character, starting at level 20. The current number of skill points available is shown in the circle below. It's 109. Okay. This is a lot more in depth. Okay. And Paladin. <laughs> So what are you? Divine Inspiration. The Paladin may now find slivers of holy light, receiving divine inspiration from his gods to become vengeful, receiving major improvements while his inspiration lasts. Okay, well, I have enough to buy. I have, what, two million? <laughs> Then we have increases the rate in which you can find slivers of holy light by 1%. Increases your critical damage modifier by an additional 4%. Oh. Okay. All skills now have a 1% chance to apply disoriented on targets they hit. Disoriented increases chance to receive critical strikes by 2% and critical strike damage taken by 2% for 8 seconds. Oh, this is so much crit. And I am here for it. I love crits. So, unlock 8%, 12%, 16%. <laughs> sure. Slivers is the new mechanic for this, so that's also slightly loud. That's much better. Not completely overpowering. <laughs> my sense is not just my voice as well. 
3%, 4%, 5%. Increases your damage modifier by an additional 1% while vengeful, in addition to the existing effects. Or, well, as well as, increases your area modifier by an additional 1% while vengeful, in addition to the existing effects. Okay, well, we're just going to unlock this. I have 88 left. Oh, I wonder how far this actually goes. And you can zoom out. But if you zoom out, you can't drag lower. <laughs> okay. What is yours? The Arcane Weaver. Oh. This is so nice. And you get the Pyromancer men now concentrate in an attempt to become Ascended, which allows you to quickly launch Draconic Flames at random enemies until your concentration is depleted. You can lose concentration when taking damage. I like that they've added all of this. It makes the classes a little bit more different. Now earn rage by killing enemies, being able to become enraged, receiving major improvements while the rage lasts. Okay. So does this just like constantly keep stacked because <laughs> you're just going to be murdering everything? Oh, this is new. Unlocks the following rune. Ah, okay. Increases your critical damage modifier by 0.5% per stack of dazed or disoriented on the target up to a maximum of 50%. Yeah, you might want to have a maximum. Okay, I'm buying it. Oh. Okay. Uh, what was this one again? Percent chance to apply this. Sorry. Okay. Block power. Whenever you take damage, increase your critical damage chance by an additional 5% for 5 seconds. Oh, this could get out of hand. Increases your damage modifier by an additional 2%. Let's just... Can I do this to max, even if this is only 1? Critical damage... 25%? Okay. That's, that's a lot. <laughs> Increases your cast frequency modifier by an additional 1% while vengeful, in addition to the existing effect. Okay. Can't wait to see how this mechanic works. Increases the size of the slivers of holy light by 1%. Okay. XP please. 15%. That's still good. Ooh. Unlocks the following rune. Unwavering persistence. Recover 10 health points every 5 seconds while your health is below 25%. Ooh. I'm unlocking it. <laughs> Increases the critical chance against enemies with less than 3% health by 25%. Oh, and then this is just going to raise the health. Yeah, that's okay, 15%. Increases your critical damage chance by an additional 2%. What? This is going to be insane. Increases your area mod that. This one's huge, not just because it's area. <laughs> Increases the damage modifier of all your skills of type holy by 2%. This effect is applied to all of your characters. 
Well then. Increases your damage modifier by an additional 2% while vengeful, in addition to existing effects. Okay. Increases the rate in which you can find slivers of holy light by 10%. <laughs> Oh, increases all health received from health crystals by two. Um, uh, definitely unlocking it. I'll get what power. I might as well unlock it and screw it. Let's do this. I've, I've got a bunch of resources still from when I played before. Unlocks the following rune. Healing flow. Recover 15 health points for every 100 enemies killed. Okay. Increases your multicast modifier by an additional 2%. Multicast is amazing. Sure, let's increase my max health by 20. Increases your critical damage modifier by an additional 5% while vengeful, in addition to the existing effects. Thank you. Critical damage, mo <laughs> just static, not while vengeful. Okay. Oh, I don't have enough skill points. Damn, I never looked at that. <laughs> while you have less than 15% health remaining, eliminating a target has a 1% chance of healing you for one health. Really? Well, I suppose I will be killing lots of things. You can recover up to one health point while every time you level up. Oh, that's huge. Ooh, cast frequency is good as well. I think I won't get this yet. I think I'll aim to... That's though. I think I have to aim for this. Okay. Well, I may as well just do this at the same time. Uh, damage modifier. All skills now have 1% chance to apply melting on targets they hit. Reduces armor by 2 and deals a 100 damage over 8 seconds. You have 2 points left. You earn concentration faster. Definitely gotta get that. Uh, Rage Unleashed. All skills now have 1% chance to apply hemorrhage on targets they hit, which deals 100 damage over 10 seconds. For every meter the target moves, there is a 40% chance that the target will take an extra damage from hemorrhage, which is always fun. And rage benefits reduces the rate in which you lose rage by 2%. Okay, so to do that and that yeah having a five percent chance to apply hemorrhage is rather good what's this last resort increases the damage done by 30 percent while your health is below 30 percent sure reduces the amount of rage required to become enraged that's probably pretty big. Two left. Let's just do those two for now to get root and access to that. Okay, oh, I need to do this. And you, you get. Uh, Infused. Mana is consumed, increases how long mana crystals stay on the ground, increases the amount of mana gained from each crystal. Now let's do exposed. 
Okay, character. Element, nope. Paladin. Ooh, new weapons. Blacksmith. Actually, let's select because it should change. No, no, it doesn't. Paladin. Oh. Okay, I need some more of this. Arcane Scepter of Light. Radiant Light emits a shining light in the direction you are aiming at, hitting enemies a total of 20 times, dealing 60 damage and applying exposed with every hit. Increases direct damage taken by up to 20% for 6 seconds. Bonus is proportional to the damage caused by each attack. Jesus. What's this one? Hit the ground. Oh, Fisher Strike. Hit the ground in front of you, dealing 250 damage and sending three shockwaves forward, each dealing 150 damage and applying dazed. <laughs> More crit. Sure, let's craft it. Demonite. So I need, oh, I need to get gold. Whispering Grove, Sapphire, Frozen Wastelands, and Demonite. Okay. Oh, I need to go to the Runes page. Last resort, oh, here we are. Do I have Dash Mastery? Increases your dash speed by 50%, resulting in longer dashes. Okay, that's a good one. 100% of your critical chance is added to your critical damage multiplier. Yeah, I want that. Multicast, yes. Uh... Wait, wasn't I? Nine out of... Oh, that was on the other character. <laughs> I think I'm going to take sure footed off. And. Cover 15 health points for every 100 enemies killed. That's kind of good. Increases your critical damage modifier by 0.5% per stack of dazed or disorientated on the target to a maximum of. Oh, 3 power. Can't use it. <laughs> Three power can't use it. Okay. I think I'm going to take healing flow. Having a source of healing seems like it might be fun. Uh, it's minus critical damage chance. Okay, kind of sucks already. But then again, I'm using this weapon. Oh, um, ooh, body mass. Okay. There you That's all awesome, actually. Let's try this. No, nope. bite. Scorching Valley, no, no. Whispering Grove. Well, I do need Dungeon of Despair. I'm going to go in without any curses, <laughs> I think. Just to get used to the game again. Is that a sliver? They added new music as well. Am I getting these slivers? Yes, I am. 
the bar down here is going up. Oh, I also have um, XP. I'll level up when I want them. I do like slow eventually. Let's take that. Oh, beam of light. Oh no. Let's go for it straight away. Uh, ooh. I can miss. Oh yeah, that's the other skill. Screw it, let's try this. The main problem I always had with the power in at the start was how slow he was. This is the first elite that we're taking care of. no idea how that's going to work. The vengeful and the slivers. Ooh. I, know that I knew they had new enemies. But those bats are new. Also I'm loving the music. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure how the slivers are going to work later on because you nearly always just have to run <laughs> later on as you get higher into things. There's a boss. I will level up. Ooh, movement speed. Hilarious oh, effect. Let's take movement speed for now. Um, Shockwave was actually really good if I remember. Anybody who's playing Burn Stun and pushing them back. Do I have magical, magical, physical? Burst. Area, area, fire. You know what? Let's get burn going as well. I'm going to take multicast because I love multicast. Uh, Radiant light is my main ability, which has a nine second cooldown. That's kind of long. Although it does last for a while. <laughs> I can beam. <laughs> Templar's verdict was pretty funny last I remembered. Uh, magnetic this low, this early on can be fun. XP by 10% and pickup range by 50%. I love the pickup range. Uh, 
take more multicast. Demolish is pretty fun. Uh oh. Forgot I had dash. <laughs> well, the beam still wrecks everything when it comes to bosses. Light beam. I once had a build that had light beam, holy beam, and arcane beam? No, fire beam, I think. Arcane beam, fire beam, holy beam, or white beam, whatever it's called. Light beam. And it just melted through bosses. It was so crazy. Bats? Should probably pick up more... I would like to get one of the buffs actually. Uh, I, I think it was like Bloodlust, Arcane. There was one that multicast more often while it was up. to melt you, hopefully. Oops. Yep, there we go. I should probably level up. I have 15 levels right now to spend. <laughs> Cast frequency by 15%. Basically, recast time. Yeah. There's Arcane Beam. Do I have Arcane Miss? Oh, okay. I have nothing that applies. Oh, I have Radiant Light that's applying those. Okay. Uh, replace it with a passive. Multicast. Ooh, critical damage chance. Yes. I do like movement speed, but these are uncommon compared to it. Do that. I like exorcism. Exorcism was good because it just healed. Ooh, might was one of the buffs that I was talking about. Power you and all your nearby allies, increasing the damage modifier by an additional 50% for 10 seconds. You can eventually get these down so they're always on. Firebot, behave. I think I might... Oh, I've already got a mul the multicast chance modifier on it. How about these? Directions. 
other place. It, ooh. Quest increases the multicast chance of all your skills of type slam by an additional 24%. Same effect is also applied to units summoned by skills of this type. Uh, Akin, Mason, Demolish. It's only two skills. Um, critical damage modifier, not chance. Take frailty. Ooh. Oh. Lethality. So why not? Beacon of light. Why can I suddenly hear fire? <laughs> uh, man. <laughs> We made a blessed aura for six seconds. The cooldown is seven seconds. We're not point five. I think I'm going to replace flame wave. Although that has a pretty short cooldown. Could always replace light beam, but light beam is amazing. I think I might just replace demolish. Speaking of light, replace demolish. Uh, multicast. This is the area modifier of flame wave. Yeah. Oh, Blade Storm! Oh, replace choices. Damage modifier. Be beacon of Light. Sure. So it did 116. Now it does 140. Oh, expansive. Sure. Critical damage chance. Yes, please. Yeah, that's only two. Ooh, 15% expansive. Yes, please. Cast frequency of light beam. Or expansive. Ah, eh, cast frequency. Or oh, multicast chance of holy. <laughs> Which is... It's only three of my skills, but I'll take it. Now I'm just going to run around the map to find potentially some resources that I want to collect. There we go. These are all new. <laughs> well, there's a hell of a lot of new things. Alexi, there you are. There you were. More 
resources, which is always a good thing to get. I am vengeance. <laughs> or rather, I am vengeful, is what I should be saying. Oh, there's a healing crystal that I don't need. <laughs> I am no longer vengeful. Got a beam too. Oh, you're dead. Sorry. <laughs> I think. Given from what I've read so far of some of the classes, I think I'm probably going to like the Barbarian skill the most. Because <laughs> it's just based on healing. <laughs> None of this being in the right place at the right time. I love the fact that there's different things, but the paladin being having to be in this circle to get the thing, I don't like that at all. <laughs> the sliver, I should say it's called, not just the circle. Last log. And Dutch. And he's dead. And everything else is dead. I think blue is to escape. That gets more difficult. And that just goes at the same level, I think. Arcane power, this is what I want. But what do I do? Templar's verdict is kind of nice at times. I want arcane power because it's multicast. So I think I might get rid of arcane mace. So, but 10 seconds of every 26 seconds, I get 50% multicast, which I can improve. <laughs> Cast frequency by 5%, so this has 26.1 second cooldown. 25 seconds. Ooh, damage but speed loss. I can close this window now. Dun, 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 dun. 
Oh, I have. <laughs> Death defies, essentially, by any Hades players. Um, area of Flame Wave. I'm just going to take the damage. And then I'm going to place. I already have Fire Shield. Okay. Um, yeah, whatever. Ooh, multicast of light beam. Hell yeah. Area modifier. Because area's effects can get huge. <laughs> Ooh, every time you apply a stack of burn, there is a 50% chance of applying slow as well. I apply burn with this. Thermal shock. Ooh. I will take the poison. Cast frequency of light beam. Oh yes, please. Uh, replace. All your attacks get a chance to apply burn, which because of this, I've got a 50% chance of applying slow with this. Uh, critical damage modifier of Templar's Verdict is insane because it already does three times as much. Sure, let's take it again. <laughs> oh, there's Arcane Beam. Uh, cast frequency or potency of the Arcane buff. It's 50%. No, 65 Multicast chance or critical damage chance? Critical chance. Who says the critical? 108. How much do you want this to crit? I'm sorry. What? Place. <laughs> oh, why, why are you giving me both of these? I'm going to take the cast frequency because I need to get this down to 10 seconds. Now it's 23.1. Sure. Area of effect. Sure. I'm going to try the infinite because I think this is just all the same sort of levels. They don't get more difficult. The music is so nice. It's just. What does it do? Endless mode cycle. Enemy health. Oh, okay. With every cycle, enemies are more. Okay, this is the scaling one. Great. Oh, Tempest Verdict is hitting like a truck. 19k. Going around the outside in case there's anything to loot. Oh, now we've got special ones. Oh, there we go. I see you. I think I might try the Barbarian next. Just because his ability is strictly 
his special thing, like the vengeful that the paladin has got. These things that I need to stand in. The barbarians is strictly just, oh yeah, kill them. And that is so much more my style rather than trying to stand still in something in this game. Vengeful, which increases a bunch of things. It gives me major improvements, it says. Was a lot. <laughs> okay, I've got twenty levels, <laughs> twenty one now. Uh, skip. Critical damage chance. But what is my crit chance now? <laughs> 85%. I could still do with more. The other thing is, this game has what's called super crits, so you can go above 100%, which I can't wait to do again. Radiant light and arcane power. The area modifier is great for this, useless for this right now. But I will take 15% for all of them. Uh, crit damage chance, skip. Multicast chance of light beam. It doesn't look like it can multicast because it's a beam, but it sure can. You can tell when its damage just ramps up all of a sudden. I never take armor, like ever. I'm gonna get some movement speed back. Critical damage modifier or area of area of beacon of light might be fun. So let's take that. Skip. Well, not skip. Uh, hit points. I'm fine with. Uh, let's do crit damage modifier. Ooh, 30% of either of these. You're level 4. You're level 4. You trigger a lot more. Critical damage chance. Skip. Okay. Take poison. You have a hundred percent chance to deal a critical strike on enemies with full health. Hell yes. Might is good, but I'm gonna skip it for now. Quick chance. Now I have a hundred and five percent. Damage modifier by 15. I don't want health yet. Area of effect. Ooh. Make Templar's verdict bigger as well. I don't think the area actually affects light beam except for maybe where it hits. It might hit multiple people, multiple targets. So I'm going to take this as much as I want to take this one. Oh, hell yes. 23 seconds. 20 seconds. So this is up half the time now. Oh, extra 
20% extra XP and pickup range increase, yes. Uh, I'm gonna reroll that. Oh, oh yes, please. Duration increase. So now it's active for 14.5 seconds. Uh, cast frequency to get this even lower. It's almost 100% of the time. Uh, burn. Increases the area modifier of all your skills of type magical by an additional 50%. Like being flim. I might just take it just for the flame wave. Even though the damage modifier on radiant light would be great. That's legendary. I kind of have to take it. Let's take Doom, and that's everything. You might notice the circle got slightly larger. It's almost off screen, which is why I love this game. You can get some insane builds where you just kill things off screen. Because your area of effect goes off screen. I'm again going to turn down the audio ever so slightly. I'm going to do master. Because the music has managed to get loud enough. Let's try that. Yeah, that's good enough. So let's listen. Okay, that is the music. Just checking my levels. And there's a lord. There was a lord. Ow. Just clipped that. Doesn't matter because I heal every level. I should also state that in order to spawn the next lord, I have to kill a certain amount of enemies up here. If people are wondering. But also with, with all the different survivors games now, I know Vampire Survivors kicked everything off, but I think this game is the better of them all. Halls of Torment I like because it's sort of a Diablo aesthetic, like Diablo 1 and 2, and I love that. Um, Brotator, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would because it just felt too constricting. The map just felt too small. This just seems like a great balance between them all. Then there's other ones that I haven't played, like I think there's one that's 20 minutes to midnight or dawn or something like that. God, they just melt. Where's this lord? Oh lordy, there you are. There you were. Okay, let's level up. <laughs> oh, damage increase. 40% on one, two, three, four. It says damage modifier. But if you look at this, this doesn't have a damage. It has a 65% multicast chance modifier increase for all skills. 
while this is active. So 40% damage modifier happens to apply to this as a potency, which is amazing. <laughs> Area of beacon of light? You don't say. Uh, let's get that. Crit damage modifier of Templar's Verdict. I mean, it's already doing plus 252% crit damage modifier. But when it crits, the damage is multiplied by 3 anyway. <laughs> sure, why not? Frailty. Ooh, potency of arcane power. This might... Ooh, this might be close. 14.5... Oh no, it's the potency of it. Not the duration, so 85% now goes to 100. Uh, replace... Uh, multicast chance, sure. Oh. The damage modifier of all lasting types. Radiant light, light beam, beacon of light, arcane power. More damage, more DACA, now it's 120%. Uh, cast frequency. Uh, replace, cast frequency. This goes off every 2.4 seconds. Sure. Damage modifier 615 and 820 burn becomes a thousand burn and 750 damage. Crit damage modifier replace. You know what? I'm gonna skip active skills now. I did not know they've added that. That's awesome. Uh, let's get Doom. Doom's fun. Uh, I don't want that area, why not? Heavy modifier of radiant light. Sure, it's gonna look stupid. More arcane power. Give me more of that multicast. Cast frequency. As good as this is, cast frequency. It's almost up 100% of the time. Ooh, area modifier for everything. Yes. Uh, I'm going to take the XP. Finally. Now I can skip all these because this will take it above. Well above. It now lasts for 19 seconds out of 15.8. Uh, area modifier. Sure. I think I'm good on area now. I think everything might go off screen. This might not. Not even sure how I can tell with this though, because I have two that's AoE. This one's really good AoE as well. Uh, damage, sure. More multicast. Uh, cast frequency, yeah, sure. And one more movement speed. Oh yeah, you can see. In all four, well, in two corners of my screen, where the AoE goes to. <laughs> but I, th I think that's the flame wave AoE. Not the beacon of light. The beacon of light is the inner circle. And I can no longer see most of the enemies. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the part that I love about this game. It just gets so ridiculous with the builds that you can get. There's a lord somewhere. Uh, are you up here? Uh, you were. <laughs> Thank you. We'll catch you next time. Need 
320. 10. <laughs> More enemies to spawn the next lord. Will you stop spitting crap at me? Thank you very much. Yeah, I wish the slivers of light you just had to enter the circle, not stay in it. To receive the buff. Oh, there's another lord somewhere. Hello, are you back here? There you are. There you were. <laughs> oh, that was the last one. Yeah, let's level up. Uh, crit damage, sure. And get my area. Ooh. Your crit strikes have a 50% chance of applying bleed to the target. Which deals more damage. Oh, but more area. I'm going to take brutal strikes. Uh, crit damage. Damage. These are all terrible. Area of a beacon of light. Sure. Increase potency of arcane power. Yes, please. Uh, crit damage modifier. Movement speed, probably. Yeah. I very rarely use armor. Let's head on in. So now they have two and plus two hundred percent health, two hundred armor. 1000 body mass, which basically means they can't be knocked back as easily. They deal 400% more damage. They have 40% more attack speed. They move quicker. And I heal for less, and my shields are less effective. Just really bad. Most of the time, eventually I will get my cast time on everything down so low. They will just go off all the time. <laughs> oh, I did get it. Yeah, you can see where my AoE goes to, right up here. I think that's for my flame wave, though. My third ability. And then this inner circle is my beacon of light. So that can still be made bigger. Hi, Necker. Although you might be in an ad. It's... I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> so I'll wait until after the ad. <laughs> but it's a survivor's like game. It's awkward ad timing. <laughs> Although you messaged five minutes ago, I completely missed it. So I am playing a survivor's game, so it does take some focus, unfortunately. Fact. <laughs> it's a survivor's style game. Like vampire survivors. <laughs> and we're back in the game. <laughs> I will explain more 
in a minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> Oh, I never actually picked up the crystal from the Lord. Because that just brings all the XP that I missed for me. Almost there, Necker. I can almost talk to you. Right, I just need to put that back up. Okay, hi Necker, <laughs> now that the advert's over, I can talk, <laughs> or you can hopefully hear me, but no, this is, this is a vampire survivors like game, so it's an, it's an auto shooter, I think is what the term they call it, so all my abilities fire off automatically, I just control WASD to move my character, but unlike vampire survivors, the mouse plays a part because, like for example, radiant light emits a light, shining light in the direction you are aiming at. Same with light beam. There's all sorts of different powers you can get. In fact, I'll uncheck that to show you. Um, it's all random what you get to choose. So, but th there's just so much more in this. That you have, can take advantage of. I think I'm going to take more poison. So these are a selection of skills that I can get to replace these. But I'm not going to take them. Because <laughs> you're limited to this many. You can swap them. But I've leveled up these. So they do more damage, do more things. So you get to replace them. Which is what I'm going to do. Uh, movement speed. And then you can have it set to pop up this as soon as you get enough XP per level, or you can set it so you activate when you level up. So now I have 24 skill points because I've leveled up 24 times since the last time. Oh, that's such a good one, but I want this. <laughs> and then you could just affect all the skills, and there's a lot of synergy like. If you look at the bottom of Radiant Light, it has a skill type, Arcane Thrust, Lasting, and Area, or Holy, Lasting, Frontal, Magical, Fire, Area, Burst, Magical. Some of these cards that you can choose from. It's not really deck builder, it's just buffs that you could, funnily enough, see what you've collected. Um, some of them affect certain tags. So you can affect more than one thing, which is great. So I'm going to take Expansive because I want to get Beacon of Light larger. It has 140%, you have 70%, which is crazy. Um, I'll take Critical Damage Chance, or Crit Chance. I'll take Cast Frequency. Of everything. Cast frequency of light beam, which fires every 4.1 seconds. Now every 3.8. A crit chance. I love crit <laughs> multicast because you can cast more than once sometimes. So I currently have. Where's my multicast? 196% chance to multicast. 
and it can stack on itself. So if you cast something and it procs multicast, that second cast can also proc multicast and it just keeps going. I think it decreases after every step. I think it was something like it decreases by or to an eighth percent of what it was or something stupid like that. It's been so long since I've played. Uh, sure, let's take area damage. Damage. Yes. Uh, let's take burn. Cast frequency of everything. Multicast of radiant light. Ooh, multicast chance of flame wave. Sure. Let's get Doom. Multicast of Lasting, which is Radiant Light, this. Light Beam, this. And Beacon of Light, this. Yes. Uh, I'm going to take Slow this time. Uh, cast Frequency out of those. I'll take Damage Modifier. Uh, damage of light beam. Light beam is crazy good. Or it was <laughs> when I last played. Should keep saying that. Uh, crit damage, sure. You should probably start getting more movement speed. Multicast chance of everything. Uh, frailty, because I don't want to get slowed down. Uh, I'll take Doom. Crit chance. I'll take Magnetic. And we're back. Uh, does it actually tell me what damage I've done now? No, I think it's at the end it tells me what damage they've all done. So the only reason that I'm seeing the enemies right now is because I'm moving towards them. <laughs> Otherwise they will just die. Oh, there's a boss. There was a boss. I think next run I'm going to play the Barbarian and see how their rage ability works. Because I imagine that's more fitting for me and my playstyle. Everything's melting, everything's melting. Some things that don't, don't really get a chance to move close to me. There's a lord, there was a lord. It's so stupid this game. And I love it. It's basically overkill as a game. If you could only use one word to describe this game, it literally would be overkill. Or if it was a phrase, over the top.
almost time for the last lord. Bye bye. I'll do one more and then I'll end this run purposefully. <laughs> so now they have plus 600% health. They had 400, plus 400% health before <laughs> in the previous map. I don't think it's helping them. Especially considering that I need to level up as well. I think I might need to do a cursed run next. <laughs> Just have a little bit more of a challenge. Almost got me. <laughs> well, there was a lord, I think. It's level twenty five, and then I'll level up. Take cast frequency. Ooh, every time you apply a stack of poison, there is a 50% chance of applying doom as well. Uh, all your attacks have a 30% chance of applying poison. <laughs> I also have, I'm fairly sure, just poison as is. Oh no, that is that is venomous. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, Cast frequency, because I like cast frequency. Damage of light beam, cast frequency. <laughs> Doom. Ooh. Ooh. I'll go for the epic. Ah, now I get the damage as well. Or I could just do damage on everything. Just do damage on everything. Area of Beacon of Light, hell yes. Uh, damage of Flame Wave, sure. Cast Frequency. More? 72%, so it'd be 504. Sure. <laughs> it's crazy. Ooh, Cast Frequency of Light Beam cast frequency. Every time you apply a stack of burn there is a 50% chance of applying slow as well. And uh, there's burn. All your attacks have a 25% chance of applying burn. But I have flame wave which applies burn. They're never going to get close to me. <laughs> 2.9 seconds. Nice. Uh, quick damage. Ooh, damage increase of all holy. 
sure. Keep getting fire shield. Ooh, damage of Templar's verdict. Yes, please. Ooh, 20% movement speed. I will take it. Oh, 10%. Or more multicast. Lilu Dallance multicla multicast. <laughs> okay. Uh, burn. Duration of arcane power. I don't need it. It's already up 100% of the time. So take more movement speed. I've just gotten a bunch of movement speed. I could just lose it all right now. For more damage. Yeah, that's fine. I almost have a beacon of light to the edge of the screen, which is fun. <laughs> was a boss. Even the elites just melt. There was a lot of void, I think. Yeah, well, the void. And again, I still think the sound is slightly too loud, so I'm going to turn it down even more. The audio doesn't seem to change too much. It does sound quieter, but my levels... Is the music quieter in the menu? That's... Let's see. <laughs> That's because that might be a thing. Yeah, the music is quieter in the menu. <laughs> How am I supposed to do my levels? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, 
Hello, boss. Oh, wow. It's because I stood in the fire that it spawned immediately. I lost one of my death defies instantly. <laughs> Boss killed me from beyond the grave. some elites there was some elites yeah I think I definitely need to try a cursed run next Okay, I'm not going to level up because I'm going to end the run. Let's see what sort of damage we did. Speaking of light, did 216 million damage. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, fair enough. Um, back to the menu. Character Barbarian? The Barbarian. Oh, I can level that up. Thundering Slash. Slashes targets in the direction you are aiming at, causing 90 damage and an extra 20 damage per stack of dazed or disoriented on the target. Cooldown is 1.8 seconds. Build. <laughs> skill tree oh because I got one for you uh, what was I planning on doing I think I was going to go here but now I don't need to so I think I was I think I want to go to cast frequency. Okay. So you basically, the barbarian may now earn rage by killing enemies, being able to become enraged, receiving major improvements while the rage lasts. Okay, you're 8 out of 8. You have purity. Increases all damage caused by 50%. This bonus is reduced by 5% for each different type of negative effect on the target. Uh, I think I'm going to not take that one. Focus Fire increases all damage you deal by 60% but decreases the area of all your skills by 30%. Sure. Critical Mastery is amazing. Dash Mastery I'll take. An Expert is good to have. These are all of the... Oh, increase the chance for long chains of multicasting to happen. Might take that. <laughs> that skill master is unwavering persistence. Healing flow is pretty good. I 
gonna take healing flow character so you have double slash bleed whirlwind Sure, let's go all Thor. Uh, fight. Actually, do I, I need prestige level 70 with the Barbarian. What am I at? 44. Sure, let's just work on the Barbarian. Plus 20 maximum health, plus 15% crit chance, plus 25% cast frequency, and 10% movement speed. Sure, let's go. Um why not? No, I didn't do a curse run either. Crit chance. <laughs> I have 45% crit chance. Ah, oh, let's take the fiery shield for now. Because it'll help with dealing damage. And I'm raging. Which is so much easier to proc than the Paladin's vengeful state. Okay. Calls down thunder to strike a random enemy dealing 2,850 damage. I'm going all Thor. Uh, multicast chance of Thunderstrike, sure. Cast frequency, sure. This is going to deal a lot of damage. <laughs> I just crit them for 8,000 damage. Oh, we got a big gun. Hey, Thunderstrike, can you hit this 10k? Yeah, you, you can hit them. Good. level up. Uh, I kind of don't want any of them but shrapnel bomb might be okay for now. Sure. Oh every time you apply bleed there is a 50% chance of applying poison. Yeah sure. 1.2 seconds 4.1 4.1 uh, crit chance. Heroic strike was amazing. It's like yeah, it's a slow attack every 4.5 seconds, which is quicker than what I had before. Uh, area modifier. Yeah, because this is better than this. 
because it also applies to that one, so yeah. I would like Whirlwind, I think it is. More rage. Oh, there's a lord. Skin. Frailty. Ooh, body slam. Yeah. Crit damage. Sure. Twenty-two damage per stack of bleed to get from this. In the effect of targets applying fragility. Actually, no, I can't do it. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll. Ooh, Chaos Golem could be funny. Sure. Golems used to be absolutely amazing. I don't know if they still are. We get these <laughs> resources. Ooh, insects. Guess these are meant to be scorpion kind of things. Damage of heroic strike, yes. And damage. Don't want any of these. Use your cast frequency modifier by an additional 10% and an extra 1% for each stack of bleed or hemorrhage on nearby enemies for 8 seconds. The extra cast frequency modifier cannot exceed 200%. I wonder if that replaces Bloodlust. Because that's an interesting way of changing it. And it's also the same power, same cooldown as stuff like Bloodlust and Arcane Power. Take shockwave and replace the golem, to be fair. Ooh, quick chance. Damage a shockwave.
should also say as well, I don't know how long I'm going to stream tonight as well. Because with the work that I've had going on at my house, I've not been getting as much sleep as I normally would like. <laughs> so I may do another slightly shorter stream. I'm at least going to do two hours. I may try for three. I'm already nearly up two hours anyway. <laughs> Tomorrow should be the last day that they're working, basically taking down the scaffolding. The only work left to do is... They kind of messed up my room in particular, taking the top of the chimney down from my house. Or one of the chimneys. And they almost came through into my room. <laughs> So they have basically booked a plasterer to come to my house on Thursday next week to fix the damage. So that's the only time that there might be a little interruption but hopefully they just come before I start stream and hopefully don't make a mess of my room <laughs> any more than they have and hopefully I'll, well I definitely am on Sunday I'm going to return to my normal streaming schedule at noon my time well Sunday's different. Sunday I start at 2pm my time so I can have a sleep in on my day off of work. <laughs> so I'll be back to my normal streams on Sunday at 2pm. And then Monday 2pm and the rest of the week at noon. And I should probably level up. So there's one thing I wanted to check real quick. There is a setting in graphics. Special effects visibility add at 50%. There we go. I could see it in all its glory, which sometimes gets obnoxious in this game. Die now. There we go. Okay, let's level up. <laughs> yeah, I think Scent of Blood might be Bloodlust very Well, we might have changed Bloodlust to it. Increasing your cast frequency modifier by an additional 10% and an extra 1% for each stack of bleed or hemorrhage. I don't think that's as worth it for 8 seconds. So I'm gonna look for more. Multicast? Sure. Damage on you. Critical strike chance. Ooh. May replace shrapnel.
Sure, why not? Cast frequency of lightning bolt. Sure. Area of effect of thundering slash. Overcharged strike causes an electric blast in front of you causing 1732 damage applying disoriented and leaving an area on the ground that continuously applies disoriented to, to enemies. I might do something stupid. Goodbye, my main weapon. You have a hundred percent chance to deal with critical strike on enemies with full health. Yes, please. Cast frequency, although area modifier is great, but cast frequency, because I now have nothing that's a 1.2 second cooldown. Closest is 3 seconds, or oh, 2.7 seconds even. I don't know which is best, lightning bolt or chain lightning. Uh, cooldown is slightly longer than chain lightning, but it hits more people. I'm going to leave it. Cast frequency of lightning bolt. Set movement speed. Uh, multicast. Lou Dallas multicast. Uh, skip. Oh, replace. Cast frequency of lightning bolt. Critical chance. Uh, ooh. Body slam is one I might change out because it's based on your max health. Even though it deals a lot of damage. So I'm going to take crit damage. I would like to get, oh, what is it? Might. Hi, Gani. <laughs> How are you today? I hope you're well. Let's uh, re-roll. Let's re-roll. Okay, I don't want any of them. Uh, area of effect of Thunderstrike? Yes. Ooh, I'll take that for the XP. Critical damage none of those I don't want to buff this I'll just take the normal damage area and we're back Feels weird without my main, my original attack. <laughs> I really do want to get Whirlwind though. I think that will be amazing to have. Ooh. I love all the new enemies that they've added since I last played. That's the exploding goblin version, but for the flies. Interesting. Or at least I think it is, because they were flashing red. <laughs> oh, 
like it how I'm missing one health, so it's telling me immediately where the health crystal is. Oh, here's a lord. He's gonna throw a laser. Okay, let's level up. Ooh, multicast of area. I have three of them. Still not what I want. I am going to banish you. Oh, Bloodlust exists. Increasing the movement speed modifier by an additional 20% and cast frequency modifier by an additional 40% for 10 seconds. Bloodlust is great. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to replace Body Slam. Every time you apply a stack of poison, which I don't think I have anything that applies poison, except for bleed, which applies poison, 50% chance. I'm taking it anyway. Uh, damage of shockwave, none of those. Uh, crit chance, ooh. A damage modifier of all your magical skills. Or multicast chance. I mean that would take it to what? 180%? Or 104... No. Or 95% damage. Increase. And lightning bolt. I'll take that. Oh, choose a portal. Let's try the red portal, because I can't remember what it does. <laughs> that one made things stronger. This one... Overlord mode. Enemies are stronger and Lords of the Void will spawn in groups with considerably increased health. Great! <laughs> I remember now. Well, less enemies are required per objective. With each with every cycle, enemies are more resistant to all negative effects. Great. It's a good job I'm mostly dealing physical damage then, maybe. Yeah, I love the additions that they've added to this game. Even though it is kind of easy on these runs, but that's because I'm not running in cursed mode. Because I'm relearning it, but I think I'm fine on that end. targeting and things just go off and die <laughs> let's get another two levels before I level up
It's like, oh, they appear and they're dead. There we go. Uh, damage of Thunderstrike, sure, why not? None of them. Ooh, increases the cast frequency of overcharged strike, which is this one. 3.4 seconds. Three seconds. Increases the duration of bloodlust. Yes, please. No, 13 seconds. I need to get 5.2 seconds from somewhere. Uh, damage. None of those. Take the XP. Take damage. Take the area. None of those. I'll take damage. Potency of bloodlust, so instead of 20% and 40%, even though I want that, it's 29% and 58%. Take poison. Ooh. And now we get two lords at once. Ow. Oh, they killed me. <laughs> Maybe armor power isn't such a bad thing. But no, I died then because I lost one of my revives. <laughs> and we're level 10 again. Cast frequency or damage? I'll do cast frequency. More cast frequency. Take thermal shock because it's always fun to have. Uh, cast frequency or area. I do need cast frequency. Take movement speed. I'll take critical damage. None of them, even though demolish is kind of fun. Uh, frailty. Yeah, critical strikes have a 50% chance of applying bleed. Yes, please. Uh, frailty. None of those. Doom. If you can get a duration on Bloodlust, I will be happy. Just a, even just a 30% increase. Okay. Now we have two logs. They do a lot of damage. And I'm suddenly level 13. Ooh, area. Oh, cast free. I'll take the area. I'll take 
Uh, I'll take more area. 30% movement speed. Cast frequency of bloodlust. We'll take the cooldown down. So I just need... Well, even more. <laughs> even more. Okay. 13 seconds? 13 seconds. It's fine. I don't need to increase that anymore. Damage. Uh, take what power? Why not? Blade Storm. That's the one that I'm wanting. Blade Storm. You deal a lot of damage. Shockwave is dealing a lot of damage. Lightning Bolt, I'm not sure I want. So I think I'm going to take Blade Storm and swap out Lightning Bolt. And then multicast gangrene every time I apply fragility I have 50% chance of applying bleed yes please uh, I think I'm going to skip all actives now critical damage oh god movement speed I'm so fast yeah it wasn't whirlwind it was blade storm Because it attacks a stupid amount of times. an ad being played but I can't stop moving <laughs> besides I think the only people here that are lurking are subbed anyway <laughs> I also just realised I've, st I've swapped rotation. I'm going around the opposite direction. So many AoEs on the floor. Okay. Ooh, crit chance. I'll just take damage. Ooh, cast frequency of bloodlust, which I no longer need. I'll take crit chance. Uh, I'll take movement speed, crit chance, poison, Cusco's poison, the poison specifically for Cusco. Hi puncher of kittens, how are you today? What's today's question? Have I tried deep fried Oreos? No. 
I categorically say no to that one. Ooh, multicast of Blade Storm. Damage of Blade Storm. And damage of all frontal type attacks. Sure. crystal from one of the bosses. Goddamn spooders. I can see them in there. <laughs> they must die. I'm actually going to turn down. Where is it? I'm going to turn this back down. So then we'll be able to see. Which is one of the best quality of life things that this game has over other survivor games. When you can get crazy skills going, just covering the screen. My character is dizzy yet, the amount of spinning he's doing with Bladestorm. Even though it's not got 100% uptime. Right, there he stopped and he started. He's got a flamethrower! Oh, I'm stuck at a tree. It's the one thing I do remember about this game. I always used to get stuck on random trees or just terrain in general. Oh, that's it for this round or this level. Let's level up. Ooh, impending doom. Sure. Sure, multicast, why not? Multicast of electric, sure. Damage of shockwave, sure. Cast frequency. I mean, I might as well for Boyd Storm. Area. Damage. Frailty. Mm. 
can take expansive. Ooh, damage. Take damage of heroic strike. Increased potency of bloodlust. Yes, please. So we go from 29% and 58% to 35% and 70%. Basically double whatever it is. Whatever the movement speed is. Let's go deeper. First I'm going to have a quick drink. Starting off strong, just BAM! Oh, we've got rat folk. Or just rats, I think. I think they're rat folk, or supposed to be. Now everything's slightly stronger, so all the damage that I just got needs more. <laughs> Let's spin to win. Where did all the enemies go? Now we get three at once. Uh. One of them leaves burning crap all over the floor. <laughs> Ooh. I think I'll take that, to be honest. Uh, crit chance. What is my crit chance anyway? 110%. Great. Could go higher. Uh, damage of shockwave. Crit chance. Crit chance. Multicast. Area. Frailty. Ooh, more movement speed. I'll actually take the XP modifier and pick up range. Oh, cool, then. Met. Rats in mechs. Feels like we might be fighting the Skaven. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, here's the next three. Spin to win and speed. Speed. Okay, uh, ooh, cast frequency. Area, sure. <laughs> I'll take armor this time. Damage for three attacks. I will take it. Ooh, potency of blood lust. Yes. I'll take the XP. Damage of Blade Storm is good. <laughs> More potency of Bloodlust. Okay, this is gonna get kinda crazy. Multicast chance of everything by 20%. Yes. Area. And crit chance. side of that. Yep, here's the next set of three. Oh god, not you leaving fire on the floor. As a flamethrower. Still fire there. Let's collect those. And then <laughs> the next boss is within a hundred kills, which won't take long at all. Ooh, bigger mech. I'm guessing those are bombers. Okay, now we have the last three. No, not the last three. Still another set after these. Ow. <laughs> I need to turn the graphics down a little bit more. Just so I can see what I'm doing. I took a bit too much damage then. I know there's a health crystal over here. Hopefully I can get it before I trigger the next set of bosses. What the hell are these? Cast <laughs> more movement, sure. Damage duration of bloodless, I don't need damage of electric, sure. Take that multicast of the electric, area of blade storm, sure. Make it even bigger. Damage of blade storm, yes. Area. Um, I'm going to take health 
which will put me to 200 and maybe 136 no 125 okay uh, frailty damage 40% for all these three including shockwave or 30% just for shockwave 30% area on one or 10% on everything. 10% on everything. I take Gan Green. Didn't I take this before? Yeah. So now there's another 50% chance of applying bleed. Even though this is great. Actually, no, I already have it, so let's do that. And again, sure. Multicast, multicast, multicast. I'm going to take armor and frailty. And then here's the next set of them. Oh god, it's stuck on an enemy. Oh. She's difficult to see at times because <laughs> she's smaller than the other bosses. Ooh, I almost went through blue by accidentally. I'm going through red. I do lo love the music as well. Always feels weird that the, that the volume in the menu is quieter than the volume in the game. Switch to epic music. <laughs> Beats, and now we're back. Uh, not long until the, the set of four bosses turns up. I think the most I ever got when I played this before was up to like 15 bosses every time, every wave. And it just. It was just mental. I should probably level up. Ooh, crit chance. Take armor power. I might as well take this. I'm kind of faster enough as is. Ooh. Damage of these two is good. Oh, debilitating plague though. Let's take you. I could get my movement speed back and then some, or I could go for this. Your area. Uh, block. What's the difference between block and armor again? Armor is just damage reduction. Oh, okay, and then block power is. A 15% chance just to negate the damage. Yeah, screw it. Take the burn. I should actually take health, thinking about it. But 
take crit damage. Because every level I get like 10 health back, I think it is. And I missed the crystal. Whereabouts are you? There you are. No, oh, we're almost at the next set of four. Just need to kill 30 more enemies. 20 more enemies. 10 more enemies. Hello, bosses. Oh, I literally ran along the fire. Oh, I'm stuck on the terrain. Hit the end, the bosses that put crap on the floor. Because <laughs> if I'm moving quick enough, I can't stop. Because there's sort of a weight to you. there's momentum a little bit. It's like if I go down and switch to going up, it takes a while before it moves up. Oh, I was right next to them. My mouse was somehow off my screen. I was like, why aren't I moving direction? Aiming. Oh, he can spin as well. I lost one of my. Well, I lost my second revive. Ooh. 50% increase in damage to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Although Bloodlust isn't damage, but it kind of is. Uh, multicast. Lilu Dallas multicast. Block. I'm going to start taking health. Area. Let's see if bloodlust. Sure. Multicast. Health. Ooh, area though. I'll take health for once. Area. XP. Um. Crit chance. Oh god. The next set is already here. Oh god. Problem is, I can get to the point where I spawn the next set if I don't kill these quick enough. Because the count is still going and I'm still killing essentially minions. Oh god, his flamethrower stopped right at the right time. Uh oh. I'm almost. Never mind, I got killed. Eliminate a total of 3,000 enemies. Ooh, prestige level 50 with the Barbarian. And then I got another one. I think it was clearing level 2 of Overlord mode. Okay, let's go back to the menu, see what I can get. Skill tree! I got 8 points. Uh, damage modifier. Oh. All damage caused against enemies with more than 85% health. Sure. 
So that cast frequency, <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, not enough skill points now. Can I upgrade? Oh, I need level 70. Is there any more that I can upgrade? Or craft, I should say. Nope. 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 Already crafted. Can't craft that. Because I don't have the materials. No. No. Ooh, Scepter of Flame. Ray of Fire. Summon two fire rays that rotate around you for six seconds. Okay, build. And oh, I can't afford you. Jupiter's Reach. Okay. You last sentence slash through enemies in front of you, causing 280 damage and transforming all stacks of bleed into hemorrhage. Hemorrhage deals damage over 10 seconds for every meter the target moves. There is a 40% chance that the target will take an extra damage from hemorrhage. Sure, I'll build it. Because I did enjoy playing as the Death Knight, who isn't actually on this yet. Despite being level 42. Okay. Kind of weird. But yeah, I'm not going to do this now. Wait, Unholy Aura? Oh, Obliterate. Okay, I'm not going to do it now because I think I'm going to end the stream now. <laughs> and try and get more sleep. So, who to raid? Uh... You know what? Let's go and raid Yed. He's playing Stellaris, which is kind of a fun time if you're into Forex games. And we'll see if my raid message works. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Yay! <laughs> I now have a raid message and Pernt's probably not here for it. <laughs> Which is typical. But yeah, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow. I might play more of this. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> While I'm streaming at this hour, it's undetermined what I will stream. But when I'm back to my schedule, actual schedule then I'll know what I'm streaming because I need to finish Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous and I think I did have Minecraft <clears throat> but I also need to check out what's coming out eventually because I do know I want to play some games that are coming out eventually and I'm so excited <laughs> stuff like Baldur's Gate 3 I cannot wait it sounds like it's going to be a fun time but yeah I'm going to go and probably get some sleep very soon. So, hope to see you tomorrow. Bye.